Hello, Les from The Keto Diet here and today's video is about my keto end of week 7 or how have I done. For those people who are following my videos, this is my 7th video with regard to my keto weight loss. And last week, the end of week 6, I'd only lost 100 grams. So, end of week 7, have I lost any weight? All will be revealed later on in the video. Uh, so yeah, now the end of week 7 and I'm still going strong. Yeah, so one meal a day and one dessert, and that does me for the whole day. And then I stop eating by five or six o'clock, and then I don't eat again till 12 or one o'clock the following day, drinking just water and two cups of coffee a day with cream. For those who are following my weight loss, the reason why I went on the keto is because of these photographs. Now these photographs here, are when I got married three years ago, and we went on our honeymoon to Bali for a month, and again, this picture here, sort of says it all, how big I was. And as, as with everything, weight gain is a gradual thing. It just creeps on and creeps on and creeps on. And I always remember being a 40 inch waist. And then when I got married, just after I got married, it went up to 42. And I was a little bit disappointed at going up 42, but I was then determined to say, oh, I'm going to lose some weight, I'm going to lose some weight. As everybody always says, I'm going to do it one day, but it never happened. And my trigger point is when I got to this weight, this is the heaviest I was at 118 kilos and I had to buy 44 waist because my 42 were too tight. So yeah, up to 118 kilos, I bought two pairs of shorts at 44 inch waist and I said to myself then I've got to do something and I went on the keto diet and I went from a, a 118 down to 104 and I crept up two kilos after I came off the keto diet and 106 and then talking to other people that were overweight and I thought I'll do a video about it and put it on my YouTube channel for those who are overweight and want to get a little bit of inspiration that people can lose weight on the keto diet and it's not too difficult to do. So I started my channel for the keto diet at 106.6 kilo and now I've got to say this is the scales that I jumped on today and I'm 98.2 kilos. So a milestone of 20 kilos altogether from the day I first started. But to be fair, when I start this YouTube at 106.6, so this is the, the mark that I'm gonna register my weight gain from. So I've lost about seven and a half kilos. So look at this photograph here. There are five one and a half litre bottles of water, which weigh and the scales, 7.5 kilos. Now that's how much weight I've lost since I've started doing my YouTube keto journey. So, for those people who want to lose this and a little bit more, just grab all the five one and a half litre bottles of water and that's seven and a half kilos all together. Put it in a rucksack and carry it around with you for an hour or two. This is how much weight I've been carrying around for months and months and months. So being on the keto diet doesn't have to be boring. Look, this is some of the food that we've been eating and even going to restaurants isn't a problem because again, with this picture here, we had a, a tuna salad at one of our favorite restaurants that we go to. But again, look at this picture here. We had a bit of a, a barbecue around our house and even a barbecue around your own house, you can be careful of what you eat. As I say, we had um, cooked pork, cooked chicken, and it's the sauces that act actually add the carbs and the sugars on. So if you avoid the, the sauces, we had plenty of salad and I had cooked chicken and cooked pork that wasn't done in any of the sweet sauces that the Thai people like. And as you can see, all the Thai girls eating whatever they eat and us Falangs were eating what we want to eat. And, and here we had Penang curry and we had uh, chicken stir fry. So like I say, being on the keto diet doesn't have to be boring. There are plenty of alternatives to what you can eat. I've, I've been eating probably the, the same meals for the past two or three weeks now because I enjoy that. I enjoy the pork steaks. I enjoy the tuna salad. I enjoy the keto pasta bakes and things like that. So just look on the internet. There's thousands and thousands of recipes for keto recipes. And it's by far not a boring diet. And you can see the results by my body image pictures of when I started at 106 and down to now. I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, so my recommendations are if you're going to go on a diet, ask your doctor if it's safe to do so. But what I would say is that losing some weight is far better than being overweight. And 
as I say, I feel much better in myself, my clothes fit better, and my goal weight was 95 kilo, but I think at 95 I'm still going to be feeling a little bit overweight compared to where I should be. So I'm going to go all the way down to 90, so I've got another 8 kilos to lose before I get down to my target weight now of 90 kilos. So I'll keep doing the videos to show people my gradual weight loss. And for those people on the keto diet, keep it up. You can see by my weekly journal that I am losing weight on the keto. And in seven weeks, I've lost 7.5 kilos. And I'm more than happy with that. 7.5 kilos. Just look at them five bottles of water. That's 7.5 kilos. And, and just holding that, it makes you understand all of that weight that you've been carrying around 24 hours a day. So from Les on the Keto Diet, from Fat to Slim, bye for now.